when Allah says إِذْ يَرْفَعُ Ibrahim, right? قَوَائِدَ مِنَ الْبَيْتِ the translation that you see in English is when Ibrahim and Ismail laid the foundation, right? Past tense. But Rafa'a Yarfa'u is actually present tense. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has used present tense. So the literal translation will be Ibrahim alayhi salam and Ismail alayhi salam are laying down the foundation for the house and they're saying, Rabbana taqabbal minna innaka anta samir alim. Why does Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala use the present tense instead of the past tense? Because even in terms of revelation, when it happened, this incident took place centuries before, right? The purpose of using the present tense instead of the Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala used yarfa is to have or to take us into that scenario right he wants us to picture this as if it is happening in front of us right in front of us who are we seeing we're seeing ibrahim alayhi salam who is ibrahim alayhi salam he is from the prophets who are the ulul azm right the greatest of the messengers he is from the prophets who allah subhanahu wa ta'ala himself has testified about his submission when he says wa idibtala ibrahim rabbuhu bi kalimatin when his rub tested him with few words fa he checked them all he completed them all right and then um, he said to him in I am going to make you the leader of mankind. That's the honor that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala granted Ibrahim alayhi salam. That high station that belongs to Ibrahim alayhi salam. That pedestal that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala put him on. Despite that, we see that Ibrahim alayhi salam with Ismail alayhi salam as they are building the house of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And we know what the reward of building the house of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is. With serving the house of Allah subhanahu is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala rewards you with a house in Jannah and this is the house of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala right but even he even someone of the stature of Ibrahim alayhi salam while they are building that that's the important point right while they are constructing the house while they're laying the bricks for the structure it's that time that they are making this dua continuously so one of the most important lessons that we take from this whole scenario and keep in mind why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala used the present tense so that we can picture this right now happening in front of us and who's doing it? Ibrahim alayhi salam, right? That uh, the, the lesson that we take is that a believer never becomes complacent with the kind of good that he is doing, as great as it may be. Like we said, it, nothing can be greater than building the house of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, right? But even then, we see Ibrahim alayhi salam saying, Rabbana taqabbal. Taqabbal means to accept, right? And but it means a little bit more than that. Usually the translation just says taqabbal. Taqabbal has the meaning of acceptance with pleasure. That's what it really means. Someone can gift you, right? You will accept that gift, but not necessarily you like it. You may shelve it or you may give it to somebody else, right? Here, when we are asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to accept it from us, we're not only saying accept, but accept it with pleasure, ya Allah. So that's the dua that Ibrahim alayhi salam is making. That's the language that Ibrahim alayhi salam is using. Rabbana taqabbal minna. He's made, they are, both of them are making the dua, Ibrahim alayhi salam and Ismail alayhi salam, right? Accept from us. And then subhanAllah, he says, he calls upon Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with two of his attributes. Innaka anta right you are the all hearing you hear what is heard right what whatever we are saying and alim you hear even the unheard you know um, we can express in word only to a certain extent right ya allah accept my deed ya allah i am asking for your forgiveness the verbiage that we use we, but it is never possible humanly to really put in words the emotion that a person may be feeling, the desire that a person may be having for the acceptance, the longing that a person may be having for the acceptance of his deeds with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So by using the word alim, the sifa, alim for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Ibrahim alayhi salam is saying, you are not only hearing what I am saying, but you also hear what I, what my heart is saying. Yani, the what what that is heard 
is also heard by you and what that is unheard is also heard by you and therefore as Samir and Alim and the other uh, important point that we take from the usage of these names is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala hears our words right and he's also aware when we use the word Alim we know that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is also aware of the state of our mind the state of our heart the intention with which we are performing this task task Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala not only hears it but he is completely aware of it and therefore the two names as Samir and Al-Alim.